Welcome back to another episode of Realize Affirmations. I am Chisa Penix Brown, your favorite mental wealth lifestylist. And I want to bring you a message today because a lot of you are very reactive. Y'all are just little radio reactives out there. (laughs) You are a volatile little box waiting to just pop open and wreak havoc on the world because you are allowing stress to dictate your life. And so if you could become a little less reactive, you would grow and you would see that your stress is reduced. Now, what do I mean by this? People want to get under your skin for whatever reason. People know that they're violating and they still do things. People know that you don't like stuff. People know that things are late. All of those things, right? And you choose how you react to them. Now, what I can say is when you start to remove yourself from certain situations, avoidance is a key to reducing how reactive you are. Because if you don't provide an opportunity for people to be in your presence, to see you act out in a certain way, then the situation can often dissipate. It might go away completely. But the biggest thing about being reactive is somebody has to do something and then you got to jump and pounce. And you get yourself all worked up for what? Because all it's doing is fucking with your mind, your body, and your soul. Now, how do I know this? Because when I am telling you, I used to be radio reactive also. I used to get so upset and send my blood pressure through the roof because I was waiting for a motherfucker to say something that was going to be out of line. And I knew I had something to say back. So let me tell you how to fix this. You can plan what you want to say. You can go through a whole entire scenario and you get it out of your system, right? So talk to somebody who's going to give you the kind of energy that you need so you could practice what you would say to a motherfucker in case you were going to react. Practice it. Get your best friend, your bestie, right? Or your spouse. Practice it. But you don't actually use it. I know it's a revelation. It it is. But I'm telling you why it works. Because you've already gotten out all of the scenarios, the what they would say, the how they would react and the what you would say and how you would react and everything. And they're probably expecting that version of you. But you've already enacted that version of you in your mock up where you talk to somebody else about it first, right? Where you ran through those scenarios where, yeah, fuck that bitch, all of that, right? You've done all of that. Well, I know she probably will say this. And if she say that, then I'm going to say this. And if he say that, then I'm going to say this. And if they do this, all it run through the whole shit, run through the whole scenario. But then you get the calmness where you don't have to do that because now you've used up that energy and then your reaction is the least amount of energy that can actually be displayed. Then you can give those closed ended one word answers. Then you can give those short, brief responses. Then you can say the per my last email kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Because you've already explained yourself then you don't have to get so out of control. And then you just sit back and watch them turn into little radio reactive. I am trying to tell you that this technique works wonders because when you get it out of your system, you no longer feel the need to do what I like to call petty professional because I'm going to be professional but I'm also going to add in a little bit of petty to it. And the thing that's great about this is you can still be petty professional, but on a low key level. And then you can craft your messages because now you've thought about how to say things in like one of those old school Victorian ways where they would kind of cut you and you didn't even know if you were cut. Right. 
That right there is the magic. And that's what I want you to be able to embrace. You do not have to be so reactive to everything. Yes, you have to react in some way, shape or form, but don't do it immediately. Run it by somebody else. And then by the time that you actually do respond, then you have the upper hand because you're thinking from a position of power and not just from a position of emotion. Okay. And I'm telling you this works. So I hope you have enjoyed this today because I know your little radio reactive ass was getting ready to go off on somebody. I knew it was about to pop off. And that's why this episode is necessary because I don't want you to keep popping off because you will always be known as the person who pops off. But when you start to conduct yourself in such a manner that these motherfuckers don't really know what hit them, ooh, chow, the sweet spot. And that's exactly where I want you to stay in the sweet spot. You cannot be so bothered to allow yourself to get your blood pressure up anymore because we are out here doing what? Mental, wealthy shit. Whew. Hope you have enjoyed this and stop being so radio reactive. <laughs> Hey there, it's Chisa Penix Brown. I am your favorite mental wealth lifestylist, and I'm also the host of the Real Ass Affirmations podcast. And I want to let you know, podcasts cost money. Now, you might get them for free, which is a great thing, but I have to pay in order to make sure that you have all this great content. And I want to be able to keep doing that. But I would love to be able to get your support in order to make that continue to happen. So you can go to buymeacoffee.com forward slash RA affirmations and you can donate on a, you know, whenever you feel like it basis or you can donate on a monthly basis and become a subscriber. So whichever thing floats your boat is going to be happy and make me happy and we'll all be happy together because I'm going to keep on giving you these great real ass affirmations and you'll be able to support with not only your listens, but also with your dollars. And I appreciate every dime. So make sure you give it to the people literally so we can keep on giving you these real ass affirmations.